In a kingdom where Prince Boji is ridiculed as the useless prince due to his disabilities, he finds an unlikely ally in a shadow creature. Their bond strengthens Boji, shaping his journey to kingship as he defies expectations and strives for greatness despite the odds stacked against him. Sheena soothes Boji as he weeps on her lap, vowing to become the world's mightiest king. He later gets ridiculed in town when the townspeople see him wearing only his underclothes, meeting a shadow called Cage. Boji gives him clothes in exchange for lip-reading lessons. Boji repeats this, drawing Cage's interest, and later gets scolded by Queen Hillings being unable to speak for himself as she remarks that she doubts his worthiness as the heir to the throne. Hurt, Boji suffers in silence, seeing which Cage later offers his friendship. Boji struggles with his father's illness and his younger brother, Data being so much stronger than him. Later, Boji faces off against him in a duel and despite not being able to land powerful attacks, he impresses the onlookers by how he effortlessly dodges oncoming blows. When Cage was young, the Shadow Clan was completely murdered as apparent revenge for an attempted assassination of their leader. Escaping through the city, the clan members are brutally attacked by soldiers with spears so Cage's mother urges him to hide in the poison forest. However, they are exposed by a spell cast by a member of the Light Clan. She sacrifices herself to distract the soldiers while Cage escapes as the soldiers kill her and begin hunting for him, but Poise, the daughter of a Count, hides him inside a stuffed spider toy and sends the soldiers in the wrong direction towards the forest. After King Boss's death, Data takes over the throne. Boji receives the news that Cage is left on a permanent journey, orchestrated by Data's instructor, Bibin. Data, eager to assert his dominance, suspects Epis and Sandio of disloyalty and orders Bibin to eliminate them. Influenced by a talking mirror's advice, Boji discovers that Cage is captured but learns he's unharmed from a giant snake, Mitsumata. In a battle, Apis fatally wounds Bibin, pledging allegiance to Boji's kingship and Bibin gets pulled into the earth. Meanwhile, Queen Hilling interrogates Data over political plans while Boji tries to escape but manages to get permission to visit Hilling's parents with Domas and Hokuro. The magical mirror advises Data to absorb his father's power, but he denies this to pursue his own potential. A judge from the ranking of King's Committee arrives in the kingdom to evaluate Data's rank and reveals how the highest-ranked king is allowed to select artifacts from the Divine Vault, but they all choose the same object and go mad. Meanwhile, Boji, Domas, and Hokuro visit a nearby town where he is separated and robbed as Data's ranking turns out to be very low. Boji encounters the Mad King who forces him into a weird ritual before he escapes and later, under Data's orders, Domas betrays Boji, shoving him into a pit, but manically starts regretting his actions. Data hurriedly wakes up and says he's ready to accept his father's power. Boji is rescued by Cage. Hiding in his bag as a while ago, Domas follows the magic mirror underground. Boji and Cage suddenly get faced by poison gas and fall unconscious while Data sees Bose's corpse get chopped into a potion. He refuses to drink it despite the mirror's urging so the two mysterious guards try to force him before Apis intervenes, recognizing the mirror as Lady Moranjo. On the surface, Hokuro confronts Domas about Boji and gets knocked out after which Domas chops his hand off. Boji and Cage find themselves in the underworld facing Desha, its powerful king, so Cage suggests training Boji, but Desha laughs it off and challenges him to fight the underworld's captain. Though Boji dodges the captain's attack skillfully, he can't defeat him and Desha decides he isn't worth training. Cage shows a letter from Bebin, but Desha rejects it so the captain explains they're looking for Despa, Desha's brother. Boji and Cage leave to find Despa while Data fights Apis and Moranjo, but they overpower him, forcing him to drink the potion meant to resurrect King Bose within him. Boji and Cage ask for training from Despa, who assesses Boji's abilities at home and realizes he has no physical strength at all but vows to develop his potential nonetheless, so Boji diligently trains daily with Despa, collapsing from exhaustion each night. One morning, Cage hears a noise and finds Boji effortlessly lifting a broken boulder. Despa assures Cage all is well, but Cage glimpses Boji's newfound strength before the door closes. Meanwhile, King Boss, now inside Data's body, remarks he sacrificed another son. It's revealed that Boss's incredible power actually comes from a demon who granted his wish for strength by draining the strength of his future child. Looking for Sheena, the strongest female giant, Boss marries her to have a son, Boji, despite his unusually small size and vows to build a kingdom for Boji's well-being. Moranjo informs him that Boji now surpasses him in strength and he agrees to assassinate Hilling Hokuro, wakes up beside Domas, who is missing a hand, and decides to report to Hilling. Upon learning of Boji's death, Hilling orders Hokuro to be executed. Disguised, Domas tries to save Hokuro, 
but Boss interrupts and reveals Boji is alive and training in the underworld, disclosing his true identity as King Bos in Dada's body. Following a tip from King Bos, Dorshi guards Hilling's chambers, anticipating an assassination before being attacked by three hellhounds that he barely manages to defeat but gets badly injured. King Boss learns of the failed attempt carelessly, and Dorshi later wakes up healed by Hilling's magic, and she resolves to fight Bos to get her son back. She later hears Data's voice within his darkness-filled world and tries to free him before Dorshi intervenes to prevent any harm. Boss suggests relocating her for safety with trusted companions while they wait for things to happen. Despa tells Cage that Boji has finished training and shows him Boji's new weapon, a thin sword. They decide to celebrate with a meal in a bar where Boji effortlessly takes care of some goons. Later, Boji and Cage discuss their plans and he suggests going back home, but Boji worries about getting betrayed, especially from Hilling. Cage reassures Boji of Hilling's loyalty, prompting him to realize his lack of trust in others and to start banging his head on the ground. Trapped and filled with regret, Data sees a girl crying in the darkness and ghosts appear in front of her, mocking her for her physique, leading Data to defend her. Realizing the ghosts were the ones who made her that way, Data decides to help her escape. Meanwhile, King Desha learns of Alkan's escape, along with five dangerous convicts, which is a threat to the Bus Kingdom. Gathering his army, Desha plans to overthrow the Bus Kingdom. Miranjo plans the criminal's escape to take control as Hilling marches into the castle with her party while Boju rides along with the captain and his troops towards the kingdom. Miranjo tells the criminals that they're free now, so they head to the throne room where Kimbo binds Bus and tells the others to throw him in the dungeon. He takes his crown and sits on the throne. Alkan approaches him but goes back and leans on the wall, so the others start leaving but he walks forward again and easily disarms and kills him, gleefully watching as Kimbo tries crawling forward before going limp. Meanwhile, Dorshi and Hilling's party enter the castle, and he recognizes the mirror as Miranjo, wondering how she's alive as she declares she's the one leading all of this. Hilling and Dorshi's group faces Apis, Miranjo, and Hellhounds upon arriving, so Dorshi and the knights battle the Hellhounds until Jigen, Alkan, and other criminals join, overpowering Dorshi, and swiftly defeating another knight Anne. Hilling's magic forces Alkan to flee, and she exhausts herself healing Anne, but they're cornered by Hellhounds. Apis unexpectedly helps her by defeating the Hellhounds. Surprised, Miranjo grants them a short delay as Apis calls out to Dorshi, who rushes to help Hilling. Alkan terrorizes an evacuated settlement, but Boji, warned by Despa, and is told to avoid him. The captain plans to delay Alkan until Despa arrives while inside. Apis ambushes Black and Red carrying Miranjo, but Zoku intervenes, deceiving and poisoning him. Dorshi gets severely injured battling hellhounds as Hilling watches in horror and Mitsumata unexpectedly arrives and helps him, asking Hilling to heal him. Just as she saves Dorshi, Jigen arrives. Mitsumata tries fighting him but is overpowered so Boji defeats him and worryingly asks Hilling to heal Mitsumata as Cage supplies potions. She wearily heals Mitsumata but Jigen revives and attacks again so Boji disarms Jigen making him submit to him. In town, the captain's fighting against Alkan before Despa attacks him with lightning, revealing Alkan as their mad brother and binds him. Domas and Hokuro reach the underworld portal's entrance. As they open the gates, King Desha's troops arrive from the other side. Unsure of whose side they're on, both parties prepare to fight. As they start fighting, Domas manages to hold his ground with his skill while Hokuro watches. The battle gets escalated when King Desha appears, and amidst this chaos, Moji and Cage arrive with Jigen. Seeing Boji safe, Domas and Hokuro are relieved. However, Boji is still conflicted over Domas' betrayal. Cage confronts Domas, who tries to sacrifice himself, but Hokuro intervenes, urging him to protect Boji. Domas asks Desha what his true goal is, so he reveals he's after Miranjo, the true mastermind behind all this. Jaken awakens in rage, targeting King Desha, who prepares to strike him with lightning. Boji intervenes, dispelling the bolt and signaling peace by dropping his sword. Seeing the others aren't able to understand what he means, Cage comes to his side, revealing Boji as Despa's apprentice as Odesha contacts Despa, negotiating their plans. Despa persuades him to return to the underworld, offering a strategy to capture the Red Demon after Miranjo's death, so he agrees taking Jigen as an officer. Jigen bids farewell to Boji and Cage before leaving and Domas apologizes to Boji before Boji escapes with Cage following him. Domas and Hokuro share a moment before heading forward to destroy the portal while on the surface, Apis confronts Boji, acknowledging his strength as Alkan breaks free in town, rushing towards the castle. Boji discovers that Miranjo controlled Alkan to shield herself. Spotting Zoku fleeing, Boji chases after him alongside Alkan and Zoku's poisoning attempt fails. 
Despite Zoku's escape attempts, Boji swiftly disarms and binds him before confronting Elkin and engaging in combat. Shocked by Boji's strength, Elkin constantly gets stopped by Boji's attacks and Cage shears him on as he shatters Elkin's sword. However, he regenerates it instantly, and the mirror reveals to Cage that Boji's fighting style is useless against Elkin's immortality hearing, which Cage realizes the mirror is Moranjo. Bebin asks Bos why he's tolerating what Moranjo's doing to which he reveals his encounter with Moranjo, unaware that Data also experiences the memories. Visiting a village of rebellious magicians, Boss engages in a deadly battle with Moranjo's father, one of the strongest mages. Severely wounded, he is saved by Moranjo's mother, after which he feels indebted to them. Later, the villagers take advantage of the wizard's wealth and murder Moranjo's mother, taking her hostage. Meanwhile, Boji slowly gets overwhelmed by Alkan's immortal strength, leaving Despa gravely injured. As Alkan bends over Boji to stab him, Cage hurriedly rushes in and swallows him. This only prompts Alkan to stab Cage to escape, and he also wounds Boji before returning to Moranjo's side. Seeing this, Moranjo suddenly possesses Red's body and surprises everyone by healing Cage. In the castle, Bibin interrogates Bos, still imprisoned, who reveals Moranjo's tragic backstory and his own memories. He discusses Boji's opponent, suggesting that even he may not be able to defeat this immortal enemy. Meanwhile, Mitsumata enters the fight, battling Alkan to stall him as Bibin, Domas, Dorshi, and Apis stand up to fight Alkan as the Big Four. In the fierce battle, the Big Four struggle against Alkan's strength and swift regeneration, so Boji makes a final stand, but King Boss intervenes, throwing them all back. Using restorative magic inherited from Queen Hilling, Buzz partially heals them all before Alkan starts attacking him again, which is almost useless against Bossy's speed and power. Despite Bossy's powerful blows, Oaken swiftly keeps regenerating so Bose squashes him inside a gigantic boulder, preventing him from regenerating. Offering them a final chance, Bose demands the Big Four's loyalty or death, and the group surprisingly chooses loyalty to Boji. Seeing which, Boji comes forward and challenges King Bos despite Cage cautioning him against it. As they start battling, Boji effortlessly deflects all of King Bos' attacks and lands a final blow, knocking him out. The others watch in shock as Boji dominates the once invincible Bos who weakly crawls forward to try to strike Moranjo, but Boji intervenes and subdues him. Boss admits his desire to free Data, prompting Moranjo to understand his pain. They share regrets and tearfully make up with each other, with Moranjo asking Boji to destroy her to release Data. Despite Epis's plea against it, Boji fulfills Moranjo's wish, shattering the mirror and freeing their souls. As Moranjo and Boss's souls start floating away, the Red Demon suddenly appears and snatches Moranjo's soul before it disappears. Boji quickly instructs Hokuro to shoot the demon with his crossbow, diverting its attention while Despa summons a lightning bolt above it. Struck by lightning, the demon falls down and the captain swiftly chops its head off. Despa grabs the head, offering it in exchange for a wish. Instead of restoring Alkan, Data comes back and uses the wish to revive Moranjo, upsetting Despa and the captain. He apologizes, promising to do whatever else he can to make it up to them, and Despa agrees, settling for compensation in the form of gold, while Keem Desha accepts the top ranking. After reuniting with Moranjo, Data reveals how he saw her memories along with Boji's and publicly declares that he'll marry her and make her as happy as he can, relinquishing the throne to Boji. The group celebrates Boji's victory, but Cage silently leaves, sensing his purpose beside him has ended. Despite becoming king, Boji still tries searching for Cage in vain. Queen Hilling tells him to pursue what he truly wants. Overjoyed, Boji finds Cage, relinquishes the throne of Data, and decides to establish his own kingdom, inspired by his father, King Bos, so the two friends leave on a new adventure together. After arranging things, Cage and Boji hear Despa's upset about an age spot, pausing Boji's training. Cage suggests him to use fruits, sparking Despa's idea of a shuttercap cure. He sends Cage with a gold coin to find one, and Cage's quest in the Akana Forest leads to rescuing an old lady, a shuttercap monster, who tasks him with chores for a pie. Returning, Cage offers the pie to Despa, who reveals the truth and lets Cage keep the gold. Despa tasks Boji to earn money to understand society, so they try various jobs unsuccessfully. Cage suggests a beanbag challenge, and a poor girl loses her savings. Despa takes the winnings, but moved by Cage's suggestion, decides to help the girl and her mother. Accompanying the Order of the Underworld in the desert, Boji and Cage gather firewood and learn soldiers were on beast lookout upon returning to camp. At night, Cage spots a shadow and wakes Boji, but they find nothing since they go after three figures but lose them. Finding a threatened family, they defeat robbers together. 
The next day, the captain explains he followed them worried, so Cage remarks that they tracked a beast revealed as the captain sleepwalking. Continuing their journey, they encounter a sandstorm and take shelter at an oasis that is home to familiar creatures. A giant creature attacks, but they learn it's protecting its offspring. Later, the oasis vanishes, but they continue towards Bo's kingdom. In a dark realm, Hilling hears her son Data's voice but encounters an unbreakable barrier. She wakes up under a tree and Dorshi tells her that they can't return to Bo's kingdom due to Bo's warning. Despite his advice to look for allies, she insists on returning and they visit a village terrorized by bandits, where Hilling decides to help the locals despite Dorshi's doubts. They camp near the bandit hideout and at night, Dorshi reveals his concerns to Anne, while Hilling reflects on her bond with her. Before dawn, they catch the bandits off guard, defeat their leader, and Hilling casts spells to ensure their loyalty, after which they head back to Post Kingdom. In the stories of the underworld, Alcan, once a powerful sword king, falls victim to immortality due to his father Satin's experimentation. Satin's happiness is revealed at Alcan's birth, observed by his siblings Despa and Desha. Sometime after this, Alcan trains with Desha but keeps struggling and later gets comforted by Despa. Satin's increasing violence disturbs them all, leading to a war where Desha murders their father. Satin's soul tries to possess Alkan but is defeated by Desha's magic. After the war, Alkan develops a healing ability, earning him the title of Sword King. Despa learns of Alkan's immortality and expresses his concern through a letter. Alkan, saving a boy, is abused by the public, while hallucination leads him to armor in the castle basement forcing him to attack knights until Desha intervenes. In King Desha's throne room, Fren offers to find a demon to cure Alkan's immortality disease, but Desha refuses, fearing the consequences. Fren treats off-duty soldiers to drinks and then flees the underworld, risking execution. The soldiers ask for Despa's help, who agrees anonymously, and they later ambush the underworld knights to help with Fren's escape. Meanwhile, Fren searches for a demon helped by Aban and later discovers a lead in the boss kingdom. Desha orders Friend to be exiled and Despa praises his mercy. He later leaves his horse, White King, who gains weight under the captain's irresponsibility and White King's weight loss journey sadly ends. Hokuro joins Bosa Kingdom's army, supporting Boji's rise to becoming a king and proves his worth and joins Boji's journey despite initial resistance. As Bosa's new king, Boji goes through his royal duties and when Bebin mentions Cage, agrees to join a town inspection. With Bebin and Hokuro, they encounter children using sign language touching Boji, who later gives his clothes to an unhappy boy, and they help find a lost bird, Pippi. Meanwhile, Cage guides a bird home in the forest. Despite challenges, Boji and the others' plan works out, and the day ends with Data, Moranjo, and the community, prompting Data to propose a new school. Before becoming a member of the Big Four, Bibin was a foot soldier. Despite his war injuries, he went through rigorous training and hunted Despa's guidance in the underworld. Despite being denied, his determination and the captain's help secured him training. Under Despa, Bibin worked on his skills, defeating his former rival, Apis. In the present, he orders Cage to deliver a recommendation letter to Boji, acknowledging his potential. Meanwhile, the Big Four, supervising the castle renovations, initially start fighting but make up after realizing their strength lies in cooperation. In the Shadow Clan's pass, a young Cage is being chased by children and a flashback shows his mother explaining the human's cruelty. In the present, Cage returns home after avoiding the children. The next day, they leave a bullfight early due to Cage's fear and run into the children again while shopping. They visit a weapons shop where Cage's mother goes inside. As Cage waits, he builds a sandcastle and chases a butterfly. Meanwhile, a powerful knight Keel rides through town. When a bull runs wild, Cage helps a child escape and gets appreciated by Keel, who stops the bull. Baranjo, once from the Huma Kingdom, met a boy in the forest eating from a corpse. After chasing him, she found a flower, unaware of an approaching bear. The boy witnessed this, but didn't alert her and Moranjo tamed the bear with magic and got lost later. Despite his initial hesitation, the boy guided her out. On Boji's departure day from Boss, he gifted Mitsumata's shedding and cicada husks to Domas and Hokuro. At his parents' graves, Moranjo gave Boji a glass orb, asking him to thank Cage for her. Cage and Boji leave on a journey without an actual destination, enjoying the adventure as they go. In the past, Desha explores a divine vault on their quest to end Alkan's curse of immortality. He's intrigued by three swords with changing inscriptions, but is warned of their cursed nature. Desha hesitates when he's offered a wish by a demon girl while Despa and the captain take Alkan's deformed body to the lake where his head lies as Desha considers a way to restore Alkan's humanity. In the present, Boji and Cage reach the Kuya kingdom, where Cage tells him to be cautious with their wealth so Boji trusts Cage with his gold. Thanks for watching our journey through Ranking of Kings. 
We hope you enjoyed diving into Boji's journey from ridicule to resilience. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content exploring the power of friendship and perseverance in overcoming challenges. Until next time, keep shining bright like Boji.